Hi, I'm Chelsea, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to solve an integration problem using a technique called back substitution. So, first let's look at the integral that we're trying to solve. In this integral, we have x times the square root of 4 minus x. Um, so to begin, I'm first going to choose what I would like my u to be, and I'll let it be the quantity under that square root sign. So I'm going to choose u equal to 4 minus x. Okay? Um, that means that du is equal to the derivative here, which is negative dx. Uh, so notice that if we were to substitute u directly into here, we would still have this x hanging around. Fortunately, what we can do is go back up to what we're substituting for and easily solve for x. So from this expression, we can actually write that x is equal to 4 minus u. And again, all I did was rearrange um, uh, my variables here to get the explicit um, quantity that we're substituting for x. Uh, so now that we have all these components, we can actually now substitute everything into our integral, and you'll see that it nicely um, falls into something that we can integrate. So, rewriting the integral, we have x, which again we said is actually 4 minus u. Uh, we have the square root of 4 minus x, which we call u in our substitution. And then we have this dx to worry about. Um, notice all we have is a negative sign, so this just becomes a negative du. And if you're more comfortable seeing how that works, multiplying each side by a negative will get dx equals a negative du. And that's how I got that expression there. I'm going to um, rewrite this integral once more to be 4. Now remember, this is u to the 1 half. Okay. Um, I'm also going to bring in this negative sign. So I'm going to distribute this over this quantity. So we have a negative 4 u to the 1 half plus u to the 1 half uh, plus 1, which is 3 halves, du. Uh, so now we can actually use that reverse power rule to find the antiderivatives of each of these. So I'm going to move up here. We'll get our integral equal to a. Um, so the antiderivative of u to the 1 half will be u to the 3 halves, so we're adding 1 all over 3 halves and adding to that uh, the antiderivative of u to the 3 halves is u to the 5 halves all over 5 halves And because this is an indefinite integral, we can't forget to add our constant, c. Okay. Uh, we're almost done. I am going to next um, get these fractions out of the denominator. So we'll get a, if we flip the fraction and multiply, negative 8 thirds u to the 3 halves plus 2 fifths u to the 5 halves plus c. Okay. Um, and then our last step is to bring our x's back in and we do that by going to our original substitution. So we'll get a negative 8 thirds times the quantity 4 minus x raised to 3 halves plus 2 fifths, 4 minus x raised to the 5 halves plus c. And there is our final answer. 
Uh, so again, this problem was demonstrating the use of back substitution. And oftentimes when we go to use substitution, we want to choose the quantity that we're calling u to be in what I like to think of as the more complicated um, part of our function. So here is that square root, um, and we usually want it to be a quantity. Uh, but the reason that we use back substitution here is we notice that when we did that, we still have this x um, left over that, unlike in some other problems with regular substitution, might get um, you know pulled in when we do this du um, piece of the puzzle. So in that case, it signaled to me that perhaps I want to try the back substitution technique, um, which in the end ultimately gave us a very nice um, interval answer. And that's it. Um, for more information, please visit our website at www.sandersontestprep.com. The link is in the description box below. Thank you.